All right, jumping straight into this question, a $100,000 mortgage is amortized in 10, 15, or 20 years. I'm just going to do the 10-year case. Uh, given quarterly payments and a nominal rate of 8% per annum compounding quarterly, evaluate the quarterly payment for each loan. So if I'm trying to find the payment, I'm really trying to find A. So let's put in some values here. Now the present value is $100,000 that's going to be equal to A bracket 1 minus R. Now R is our growth rate. That's going to be 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12, ah, uh, sorry, compounding quarterly divided by 4. Uh, so that's 1.02. So 1 minus 1.02 to the power of negative now, N is the number of compounding periods, 10, 4 compounding periods a year, that's negative 40, bracket over 1 minus the growth rate. The growth rate is 1.02, 1 minus 1.02 is 0.02. Alright, I'm going to rearrange that, move the 0.02 up to here, so 100,000 times 0.02. move all of that, because this is A times all of this, I can just divide it by all of that, 1 minus 1.02, bracket, bracket to the power of negative 40, equals my A value, get a calculator out, type it in, answer. Just make sure you write this down right, I've stuffed up my brackets, 1.02 to the power of negative 40 in brackets. And type it in your calculator, get an answer, $3,655.57. Now, um, if you were to have the loan for 15 years, the payments would be less than that. If you had the loan for 20 years, the payments would be less. Uh, this question asks you to test that out for all three. Answers are down here, boom, boom, boom. All right, second question, the total interest paid for the loan. Now, this is a really, really actually straightforward bit of maths. So, if I'm paying $3,655.57 uh, quarterly for 10 years, so I'm only doing the 10-year case here, that means that the total payments, total payments, would be equal to... Um, the monthly, the quarterly repayment, $3655.57, times the total number of repayments, which we already know is 40. If I type that into my calculator, I get $146,222.80. Now, total interest paid. Really got to think about what's going on here. You bought a house and you borrowed $100,000. Your total repayments have been 146222 So the total interest paid over the life of the loan is $146,222.80 minus $100,000. I don't need a calculator to do that. $46,222.80. And done. Now again, the question asks you to do 10, 15, 20 years. If you're stretching your loan over a longer period of time, your repayments will be smaller, I believe, but your total interest that you pay over the life of the loan will be longer because you're borrowing the money for a longer period of time. All right, C, the amount still owing after five years for each loan. 